Maybe. You should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. Hey, what's up guys? Steam to my Zandy here, and today I'm coming at you with another top 20 list. Uh, the One Piece video didn't do so great, but I just love doing these because, you know, maybe eventually they'll get bigger. I may go ahead and throw out the spoiler alert. I don't think there's going to be many in this one, but there could be a few. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll catch y'all in the video. All right, guys, so we're going to start out at number 20, and we're going to go in very strong. I love this character. I hate his magic, but I love him. It's Alzac. Now, Alzac and Biscuit kind of go together in this sense, but Alzac's look is amazing. His actions, especially in the Thunder Legion arc, where um, the balls or whatever were threatening to kill all the girls that were made of stone, and he was, like, fighting his friends to protect Biscuit. And, you know, then we got the time skip, and they got you know, uh, married and had a kid. I think he's a great character overall. I just wish he could get some more screen time and I'd love to see kind of an OVA of just his backstory. Okay, so for number 19, you may not know this if you haven't seen all the way through Fairy Tale or read the manga, but it's God Serena. This character's look is brilliant. I don't know too much about him yet because I'm not that far into the manga actually, but uh, I, from what I know, he own, or possesses like seven different dragon slayers within his own, like, magic. But I did see him get one-shotted by Acnologia, so maybe he's not that great. That's just why he's so low. Uh, I think he's going to be a cool character, and he's the number one wizard saint. So, I mean, that's that's legit. So, that's my reasoning behind it. Okay, number 18, we have a party harder who can drink with all of them. And has a great backstory. It's Kana Alberona. Now, Kana is one of my favorite characters due to her um, drinking habits, so to speak. But um, not only that, her story with Guild Arts was fantastic. I loved it. I mean, everyone kind of like thought, but like no one really knew, you know. Uh, she's a lovable character, you know. How can you not love her? And she's actually pretty strong. Plus, her card magic is legitimately one of my favorite in all of Fairy Tale. For number 17, we have a strong choice, I feel like, from Lamia's Scale. Um, this character is Grey's counterpart, Leon. Now, Leon and Grey's backstory was probably my favorite out of the four main characters, or five, I should say, main characters, Natsu, Wendy, Lucy, Urza, and Grey. Grey's was my favorite just because, like, I don't know why. Like, I can't explain it. I just liked it. Urza's, I felt like it was a little slow, but I did like it. Wendy's, uh, Wendy's was out of nowhere, but I really did like it, too. Uh, Natsu's, I mean, you know, I guess the whole E&D thing is cool, but, I mean, it was kind of expected, and Lucy's was just like her dad and mom were, like, not the best parents, I guess. <laughs> anyway, though, Leon is on this list for four major reasons. One, his backstory, like I said, with Grey. Two, his look and magic, because holy shit, Ice Make is cool. Three, his, he, like, his flip from being a straight ass hat to a good guy. And four, the fact that Leon is one of those characters you want to look up for and root for. Uh, I really like Leon. I think he's an overall fantastic character, but I wish they would do a little bit more with him screen time. Number 16, I would imagine, is on literally everyone's top 20, top 10, whatever list. It's Zarif. Uh, Zarif is amazing. Um, they built his character really slow, but once you get to know, like, his true, like, intentions and, like, who he actually is, it's fascinating. His character work was brilliant. Um, overall, he's great. I don't want to spend too much time on him because he's got a lot of major spoilers behind him. But if you don't like Zarif, tell me why in the comments. He's overall, I think he's one of the most favorite characters in the series. In, in a sense. Number 15 is a little bit of an odd one uh, and a weirder character choice. But um, <laughs> Blue Pegasus is my favorite guild. And Ichia runs one of the main squads of Blue Pegasus. And um, <laughs> if you don't like him, I just think your personality stinks, dude. You might need some parfum, man. Uh, that was cringe, but, um, I love Ichia. He's great, and I, I don't have really a lot to say about him. Uh, this, this pick kind of, like, incorporates his whole team, because I do love 
all of Blue Pegasus. They are my favorite guild by far, just because they're great and hilarious. <laughs> Picking up with number 14, it's a little bit more serious, but not on a completely serious note. Not even close to Zareth. It's Bacchus. Now, uh, Bacchus is one of my favorite characters due to the fact that he's a drunk, he's a badass, and he's in a guild named Quattro Puppies. Yeah, formerly known as Quattro Cerberus, now known as Quattro Puppies. What is this guild coming to? But anyway, he's a good character. Uh, he, he lets off some good emotion, and I like the whole Kana and him out drinking each other's skit. It was great. I want to see more of Bacchus, but I don't know if we're ever going to see that now that the series has ended. I don't know if he ever came back up or not, because I haven't finished it yet. Moving right along to number 13, we are back on a serious note, and we have Kana's father, Gildarts. Uh, Gildarts is a character I hated in the very beginning when he was first introduced. I feel like he is overhyped, but he actually lived up to the hype. He is a badass. Not counting, like, his crash magic could be its separate own group, to be honest. Uh, I love him and his crash magic just as much as one or the other. They are both excellent and great. Uh, he, he dropped so low on the list and doesn't break number 10, though, just because we don't get to see him very often. I love him, but I can't give him a spot high up because I don't see him a lot. Number 12 is essentially the only character I've liked at all who used curse magic. That's Jackal. Uh, Jackal killed the whole Magic Council by himself. Even though he got, like, tanked by Natsu because, you know, plot armor... Uh, he is fucking <laughs> awesome. Uh, I love his character look. I don't like his, um, curse form or whatever it's called where he turns into the jackal that much. But, I mean, I get, like, you know, it's his, like, special thing. I, I don't know. Overall, though, I love the character. I love the curse. The bomb curse is my favorite. Uh, I, I, I want to say he's the only curse I even like. Uh, I said it before, but, I mean, like, I'm being legit. I don't like any of the other cursed users. <laughs> Alright, so I know I've been saying uh, legit a lot this video, but number 11 is legit part of my favorite ship. That's Levy. Uh, Levy and Gajil are my favorite ship in the whole series. Uh, I love Levy's character. She's the bookworm. She's the nerd. But she can fight to a degree. But when she met Gajil, her true meaning to the whole story came whole. From the minute she was hung up and strung in the middle of, like, I think it was outside of the guild hall, wasn't it? <laughs> On a tree? Uh, yeah, that, that was the moment that love struck her, and it's really awkward how they met, but I think it was great, and I loved it, but, um, yeah, uh, Levy is a true G, and we might see Gaggio a little bit later on. We are finally to the top 10 list now. The top 20 were good, but these 10 are great. We have Cobra kicking things off, the Poison Dragon Slayer. I love Cobra's, <laughs> um... His look, definitely. I love his ability to be able to hear stuff so keen. I love his magic, obviously. Poison Dragon is... The Poison Dragon slaying magic is so cool to me. Just because it use, utilizes, like, um, a form of, like, death to incorporate into its magic. It poisons the opponent. But, uh, Cobra's character, they have done great with him all the way through the Erasion Saves to joining Jalal. I don't know what's to come for Cobra yet, but I hope it's good. I hope it's really good, because he, he is one of my top ten favorite characters. So for number nine, we finally get to one of the main characters of the series. And remember what I said about Leon? Well, yeah, it's Grey. Grey is a great character in my eyes just due to the fact that we, you know, he's one of the main characters, so we actually do get a lot of his story. We get his background. Um, I, I've liked Grey from the beginning just due to his habit of taking his clothes off randomly. I thought that was funny. I love his magic. Like I said, Ice Make is legitimately one of my favorite magics. I said legit, well, in a form of it again. But anyway... Uh, Gray's character design, his overall look, everything just flows perfectly for the character. I think it is 100% couldn't get any better, except for maybe, like, I don't know. I heard him and Juvia do end up getting together, which I'm not too sure if I like that, but maybe it'll work out good. I haven't got to read it yet. But, um, my favorite thing about Gray is his will and power to beat and surpass Natsu. Uh, it's a, it's a common thing you see in anime, but Gray's, like, 
devotion to um like protecting his guild and friends and family are so strong and then you got that part of him who wants to be stronger than not to so it's it's great i love it overall perfect he's one of my top 10 favorite characters for a reason and uh i mean if you don't like it tell me in the comments why i mean i feel like gray would be one of those characters who are controversial some people like him some people don't Number 8 is the only Edelus character that is on this list, and with good reason. Now, Jalal is cool, but Mystigan is the shit. Um, I loved Mystigan from the very first time we, like, heard of him. You know, he was that mysterious guy. The guy who, you know, was, like, in the shadows and stuff. And he's really cool. But... The reason that it's not Jalal on this list is he's his own person. Mystigan is his own character, and Jalal just doesn't do it for me. I like the shroud mystery of, like, Mystigan. Not counting, like, he's legit one of, probably one of the most favorite characters in the whole series, from the beginning anyway. So, I mean, I love it. I think he's great. <laughs> he looks awesome. He acts awesome. Doesn't use magic. He's magic staffs, though. So, if that counts, his magic, quote-unquote, is awesome. So, yeah, he's number eight. Okay, number seven is probably the most controversial pick on my list, completely bar none. It's Acnologia, but only in his human form. I, I know we get a lot more of the dragon form Acnologia, uh, well, as far as I've seen so far, I just love his human form. From the look, the character, the perspective, everything, I love him. Uh, I know Acnology is a badass regardless. Uh, but, I mean, overall, if you just think about it, like, his character design is lit as fuck. Especially his human form. But uh, tell me in the comments what you like better, his human form or his dragon form? Because, I mean, I like both, but I just like the human form a whole lot better. Alright, so coming in at number 6, we have probably one of the strongest characters in Sabretooth. And that's Rogue. Um, Rogue is one of those characters you just can't hate. Uh, he's such a badass, his magic is badass, he's awesome looking. What is there to hate? His character personality is cool, calm, collective. I love him. He, he's a great character. I don't have much to say about him because, like, he speaks for himself, you know? So, tell me what you all think about Rogue because I think he's probably on everyone's top ten. So, we are finally to the top five, and we are going to kick things off shooting straight up into the air and into the sky. We have Wendy, and Wendy is a character that I truly liked. Just because she's the underdog character, we don't know much about her when she's first introduced, but Natsu has a feeling, which intrigues the whole audience. Uh, she's a character that I like. I don't think she's as strong as they want to put her up to be. Uh, they put her in a lot of fights where plot armor really does save her. But overall, I love her character look, design, and everything about it. Uh, I don't know. I, I really can't explain why she's number five. I like Rogue and her just about the same. But just because we see a whole lot more Wendy, I feel like she's kind of bumped up, you know? I mean, if that makes any sense. Number four, we have the leader of my favorite team in the whole series, and the rightful heir to Fairy Tale. It's Loxus Dreyer. Now, Loxus is a character that if you don't like, you're fucking dumb. Either that or you just haven't seen enough of the story to like him. Uh, he's Makarov's grandson, and you can tell, like... You can't tell early series, but you can tell, like, late series, where they, like, really bring it out. And he, uh, he's a part of my second favorite, um, arc. He made that, that arc. Uh, which is the arc where it's Loxus and the Thunder Legion versus the whole guild. Uh, it's, it's great. I love his personality. Even when he is a bad guy, I loved his personality. I like it even better now that he's a good guy. But overall, Loxus is a badass character. If you don't like him, you're crazy. Uh, he, he's the heir to fairy tale, like I said. He's got to become Guildmaster someday, maybe in the, like an off sequence, because I know they don't kill Makarov. But come on now, you've got to do something with that. Alright, so number three dates back to the very earliest episodes, and it's another controversial pick, but it's Loki. I know Loki is Leo, but I liked Loki's character so much more before he was a Celestial Spirit. 
Um, his whole thing about, like, being the ladies' man and then being scared of Lucy because of, like, his past, which was par, par none, one of the most, like, when it, it was like one of those things, like, when you first started watching, like, you didn't know what to expect. This is one of those, like, plot twists that really got me to want to finish watching the series. Uh, Loki's character, or Leo, whatever you want to call him, is so cool to me just because, like, you know, he's a ladies' guy, you know, he's a celestial spirit behind the scenes, he's got this terrible past that no one knows about him, and he, he's just cool. He's, he's really cool. I, I like Loki. I know a lot of people will disagree and they like Leo better, but I like his persona Loki so much more. Hitting up at number two, if you recall, I said that, you know, the Levi Gajil ship was my favorite. That's because Gajil's number two. Gajil is a character that I have absolutely loved from the very first minute we see him, to where he's like the ruthless guy, doesn't care about his comrades, doesn't care about fairy tale. He just wants to fight. He just wants to go at it, and slowly we see his character evolve into someone who really loves fairy tale. And the whole double agent thing was so freaking awesome that it was, it's like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, holy shit. Gajiel is a character that I could literally just sit and watch his highlights for days. Um, I mean, I, I can't wait to see where him and Levy have the baby. I don't know if it's a spoiler or not, because I haven't read it yet. Just people have been talking about it, so I don't know if this actually happens or not. But I hope it does, because oh my god, it would be amazing. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into some honorable mentions, and then we will get to number one. Alright guys, so we are finally here. We are coming in at number one, and it's my all-time favorite character, Freed Justine. Uh, you might have known this already, but Freed is my character of characters here. Uh, I love his character design. I love it a lot. Um, I love his magic. His magic is my favorite magic of the whole series. Um, his dark aperture is brilliant and brune, whatever you want to technically call it. Um... <laughs> It's it's great. Uh, Freed is bar none my favorite character. He's so like awesome, and the only downside is that there's the whole thing like oh he's gay oh it, no, it, it, that doesn't matter to me because like I see it as it's just devotion. Uh, I really like him and Mira's ship, even though Loxus kind of pulls that ship apart and like kind of goes for Mira. Either way though. I think Freed is a great character, and he's my number one pick. I thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you all tomorrow.